What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. We got a fun one for you today. So uh, me, Brady, and my dad headed out to fish a flounder tournament in Chincoteague, Virginia. Uh, we're fishing this with the Frederick saltwater anglers. We are part of their club. Uh, even though Frederick's not really close to uh, any saltwater itself, uh, the guys in that club take their saltwater fishing very seriously. There's a lot of great anglers in that club. We headed down to Chincoteague to fish a three-day tournament. It's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday tournament. And I think there was about 20 to 25 boats in the tournament. So uh, pretty good field. And we, we were hoping to, you know, just, just get like top five uh, if we're doing really well. Top 10 will be good as well. So uh, throughout the video, I want to show you guys some tips and tricks for fishing Chincoteague, Virginia. Uh, this was my first time fishing Chincoteague. My dad's fished it in the past. I think Brady's fished it in the past as well. If you haven't fished Chincoteague, it can be a little overwhelming. There's a lot of water to cover. It goes from, you know, really deep channels to super shallow mud flats. Before we get into the video, I want to give you guys a rundown of some of the areas that you can fish if you go to Chincoteague. Uh, you know, public water access is pretty nice down there and you can reach a lot of good areas all within a few miles of Chincoteague. So uh, I'll go ahead and jump in and give you guys some tips before we roll into the video. So if you guys have never fished the coastal bays of Virginia, uh, it can be a little overwhelming, but trust me, there's a lot of great fishing to be had. So this trip was based out of Chincoteague Island, um, and there's some really awesome spots you can hit right outside Chincoteague Island. And you can access all these spots at Curtis Merritt Harbor. So that's where we left uh, for all three days of this fishing tournament. Um, and you can access a lot of water. Uh, there's spots, you know, within a three to five mile run that produce some really, really awesome flounder fishing. First one I'm gonna mention is uh, Queen Sound Channel. Now we didn't fish this uh, during this video. The conditions weren't really good for it. We had stiff uh, east winds, but there's some big fish caught in this channel. Um, it's a shallower bay with a deep channel running through it and a pretty good spot. Second spot that's really easy to access is going to be Chincoteague Channel. That's going to run on the western side of Chincoteague Island. Uh, it's a much narrower uh, channel to fish, but there's some really nice steep ledges you guys can get on and drag baits as you're drifting through. Really good spot to fish. The third is going to be Assateague Channel, which is on the eastern side of Chincoteague Island. This is probably the most commonly fished area uh, around Chincoteague just because of the ease of access. Um, and it's pretty much protected from most winds. Um, so it does get fished out pretty hard, but there's some really good fishing in there. Now the spot that we fished in this video was called Four Mouse. It's where four channels come together. There's some really nice ledges and flats in there that you can get right on and drift. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you guys all the different areas you can access right from Curtis Merritt Harbor. But with that being said, let's get into the video. On one of the first drifts, Brady caught a 15 and a half inch flounder using a half ounce jig head paired with a white soft plastic. So uh, it's just short of the 16 inch minimum, but we knew that if he caught one that quick, there had to be other fish in the area. So you just caught one right up against the bank. Mm -hmm. Can I toss and let it drag close to it? Six right here? Probably three right here. He slammed that dude. All right. Must have been small. He slammed it. He's hitting it, isn't he? Yeah. I'm about to set the hook on him. I don't think he doesn't got he doesn't have it yet. I'm just giving it to him. There we are. Fish on. I can't tell. Feels decent. Oh, oh, big one, big one. Get him. Big one, big one. Oh, let's go, let's go. Check that out. That's about a 17, 
19. Where you want him, Brady? Bodwell. Check that out, guys. First keeper of the day. Might have found a little spot here that there's some fish hanging out in. Oh, a skate. I mean, it's <laughs> freaking clear nose skate. Damn. Snag. Well, it's a catch. <laughs> Snag. <laughs> Little guy. I don't think. We can check. I don't think so. Still got to measure him just to check. I think he's gonna go like 15 or 14. We're gonna check him, but he's. What is he? He's 16. That's 16. Isn't he? Yeah, 16 is a keeper, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's 16. Okay. Keeper. All right. Well, in the live well, he'll be fine. Second keeper. We gotta get back to that spot. So we're basically just using these basic basic double flounder rigs um you know some people use bucktails we just got jig heads on but we've got these big big live mud minnows we're using and we're either putting on these otter tails or uh brady st stripped up some perch belly that he just caught his fish on so we've caught three fish so far one was on the jig and then we just came into this spot right here at the mouth of a couple creeks and uh we've got uh, two keepers out of it and brady snagged a skate so uh within 20 minutes we've caught two keepers which is much better than we were expecting to do today with the conditions it's super windy so we're going to try and get back in here um it's there's a huge mud flat right there but it drops off it goes from about five feet up there down to like 15 feet right here so these fish are laying right on this flat in here that one just got snapped does he have it brady you let me know if we need the net you said yeah Got him. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Try it. He's trying. Oh, that's a keeper. He's close. He's close. That's a keeper for sure. That's a keeper for sure. Definitely keeper. 100% keeper, dude. Dude, give me, give me some of that, Brady. Give me some of that. Right where this is, look. I know. I know. Open and swinging. We're going to get right back on it again. Dude, yeah, definitely. That's a 17. Mm -hmm. okay. Measure him though. Oh, yeah. See what he is. It's ugly, uh, ugly, uh, ugly now. Oh, yeah. That's what I said. Watch that one hooking behind you. Hopefully the wind's not too bad. I've got the got the mic with the wind cover on, but it's blowing out here, steady 15 to 20. So uh, we're fishing in a flounder tournament out of Chincoteague right now. Today's day one. It's Friday, and conditions are tough. It's it's overcast. A lot of the water around here is muddy. Um, we found a little pocket at some creek mouse that has decently clean water and uh, where we're not getting beat up too bad from the wind. We're working creek creek edges as they fall down from about five to 15 foot of water. And we've got three keepers. Uh, we've had one shorty and missed a couple so far, but it seems like almost every drift we're getting like one hit or catching a fish. So we're gonna try and grind it out here for a little bit and uh, see what we can do. Brady's catching some on strips of white perch belly. Uh, the otter tails are working real well for us. It's 10:40 right now, so weigh in today is at 4 p.m. We can weigh in four fish, but we're gonna we're gonna fish most of the afternoon. Um, we're getting towards the tail end of the outgoing tide, which is typically when you want to be fishing. So I'm gonna set the camera down and get back to fishing. Hopefully, put our fourth keeper in the boat, and then we can see if we can improve our weights. So we've got a 19, a uh, 17, and a 16, I believe. Definitely room for improvement, but. Good, good start to the day. We're actually finding some fish, so very thankful for that. I'll come around and take it. I'm about to net it. 
<clears throat> Maybe. Popped right off. That's gonna be close. Here. Right at the mouth right there. That one's that one's gonna be close. You never felt them? He's long. I never felt them tapping it. Put it nose to that. No, he's short. Is he? 15 and a half. So he, he must have been. Oh, that's 15 12. And a half? No. 15, 15 and, and a half. half. Right? He's. He's 15 and a half. 15, okay. Yeah, that's what he was on this one. Too. Okay. Alright. There he goes. So we're getting up along these edges. You can see the huge mud flat in front of us and it drops down. So we're just kind of getting right along these edges and letting our lines fall right along with the flounder like to sit right there in ambush bait. So we've got five fish so far, three keepers. The rest of the day is going to be a grind. Talked into it. Yep. Oh, yep. I talked him into it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. You good? You might have just snagged my line. You did. Yeah. No, we're just. With you? I think I, I don't think he's actually snagged on it. He's out here. Do I need to come off? No, you're good. You're no, good. You're, you're good. You're going neutral. You're fine. Just yeah, you're good. Just make sure we're in open water. You're going neutral, just a little bit. Okay. Oh my God, Brady. Is he coming up? We're coming up slow. He's gonna see the net. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Mm, dude, that's a, that's a 18. It's a keeper, right? Oh, yeah. easy, easy, easy. For some reason, the audio on my mic cut out right here, but uh, this is Brady measuring the fish that he just caught, and it went just over 19 inches. So uh, it's a really nice flounder, and it put us in a really good spot heading into the day one weigh-ins. Dude, that, that is a heavy He's fish. Heavy. The white perch belly, getting it done. Is that at the creek mill? Yep. Yeah. But we were off of it a little. We bit. Were. we were out. And this wind is crazy right now. It's freaking white capping in the channel. This is insane. The bite has slowed down a little bit, guys, but we just picked up another fish at the mouth of this creek. Or you can see this huge mud flat now. We're getting towards the end of low tide, so we're hoping as that tide slows down on the uh, maybe last hour of that outgoing tide bite's gonna pick back up but we've got our four keepers we've caught six fish so far honestly i'm very interested to see how other boats are doing because conditions are not ideal today and i think we're doing pretty damn well given you know what we're able to work with now we're mm. brady just had a hit I'll go off for a second, yeah. then... most of the fish we've caught recently have been on this side of the boat close to that edge i'm fishing two rods over here but haven't had a hit in a while everything's in there yeah i'd even put it down low man yeah, dude, look, look at those put, fish in put there. It right there. Did something spit something out? What's in the bottom of the thing there? That's the... 16. Is that the 17? And then two bubbles. <laughs> oh, it's two bubbles, all right. <laughs> somebody had to get... Somebody had to get a few pieces. Yeah. Yeah, those are two nice fish. Brand new. Put them back in the truck. Brand new bag. Sorry. I didn't mean to sound. Might be his first time here. I don't know. He's a good fisherman. 26 years ago. 26 years ago he fished this tournament. He's got four fish away. He came to play. That's the Jeff Rippey and you're on deck. Gary's first fish goes one seven two one seven two. Five, two, three, five. There we go. 
Oh, that's a magic number fish right there. Two five, that's two five something. Two point five four, two five four. Way to go, Mr. Waters. It's his world, we're just living in it. Well, after day one, we were sitting pretty good. Can't complain sitting in second place. Given the conditions, it was super windy, which made the fishing really tough. Uh, we fished our butts off and, uh, you know, caught four keeper fish, put us in a good spot moving into day two. And uh, if you guys want to see the second video of this trip, I'm going to combine day two and day three into one video that will be coming out right after this one. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hope you gained some information, some knowledge about fishing Chincoteague. Uh, it's a great place to flounder fish. There's a lot of other great fishing opportunities out there, but it's really well known for its flounder fishing. But like I said, the second video from this trip will be posted shortly after this, so make sure to check that out. Other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, we will see you guys on the next one.